so great to see Canonical here at the Risk Five Summit. Now, Canonical has been known to run on many different architectures. How would you view the strategic importance of Risk Five to Canonical? It's kind of twofold. Number one is that we are supporting all architectures equally. But there's another aspect of Risk Five in particular. We're kindred spirits of the open source world. So for us, there's nothing more perfect in terms of a union of open source software and open source hardware. So this is magical. We're excited to be part of growing that ecosystem of Risk Five and helping make it robust, not just for developers, but enterprise ready and hardened. So tell me a little bit about what kinds of things and applications are you working on? What applications are ready today? So for us, what's been interesting so far is the range of different projects, the number of new things that are coming to us, and the way this is growing. So not just the types of companies, big and small, but also the applications. So seeing the many different markets, it means that we can start imagining the day when we can put these in our internal data center so we can be testing all of those software, all of these new capabilities on RISC-V. Canonical has been a catalyst for the software ecosystem across architectures for decades. And it's such an honor to have you on RISC-V. Now, take a quick peek into the Canonical crystal ball. What does the future look like? So our next release is 2304. So there you're going to see many new chips coming out and we will see Ubuntu support really quite broadly across all of these new chips. The future is so bright. <laughs> I, I really appreciate your comments and, and how important this is for the whole industry. We're thrilled to be here and be a foundational partner across all of the ecosystem.